welcome back to my channel, Life with Shea Rochelle. Thanks so much for stopping by. So I wanted to, for probably the first time in almost a month, come on and share with you how I am progressing in my first quarter Bujo, which I am using an A5 Stalogy 365-4. So I'm gonna kinda just flip through all the pages where there's nothing to talk about. Um, you've seen most of this. If you've not, I have a video where I, I did a flip through of my setup and this is just it. If there's something to talk about on that page, however, this is my cycle tracker. I guess the things that are working for me is what I'll stop for a moment and share or if it's something that's not working for me and is worth speaking about. So this is something that's working for me. Um, I used it really easily in January. So I'm gonna keep using that for February and March. Um, these are my goals and near the end of January, they changed completely. And so I'm no longer referring to that page. Um, I might see if there's something that, you know, I guess this is more so at this point, just ideas, goals, ideas, but it's too broad for me as far as how my mind is working right now to focus on trying to get something completed or uh, get something worked out for each one of them throughout the month of the, throughout the year. And it's too overwhelming for me to try to actually um, focus on accomplishing all of those goals this year. So I'm going to pick what's going to be best suited for my needs. This was my 21 things in 2021. Um, I do fully still plan to go back and fill this out. I just haven't done it yet. This is where I am putting all of the book choices and options that I have that have come across or come up to me um, that I'd like to try to read this year. My goal is 20 books. This list has 24 and I have at least about 15 or 20 more book ideas that I'd like to add to this list. And so I'm going to probably redo this somewhere else in here um, before it's all said and done. Um, I'm, and if I do end up reading a book off of the list that I have, I will mark it off like you see here. Um, not sure that this is a good idea to put in here being that art is really not my focus. Ideally, I would love to be able to complete something art related once a week, um, realistically once a month. But to be honest, the way my focus has been, I've not been able to do either. Um, so this is just sitting here blank for now. Maybe I'll be able to fill it in at least with nothing else but ideas, even if I don't actually do them. Um, I can refer to it later. Um, but at this point, I haven't. I have tried probably every week to complete my guide for cleaning, and I still have not gotten it done. Um, I will eventually fill this out with my guide for the things that I'm going to be doing for monthly, weekly, and daily cleaning. I just have not done it yet. Um, not at all referring to this quarterly goals list because again, like I was saying, the way my mind is working, I can barely focus on one month at a time versus one versus looking at the entire quarter. So, um, quarterly goal planning is just not something that's, it's, you know, outlook, thought process, you know, where I would like to be aspirations, things like that. Um, you know, that's definitely a good place for it. But as far as like, um, this is what I'm working on right now. This is how I'm going to get there. I can't think that far uh, in advance right now. I just can't. Um, my mood tracker is working really well. I'm a few days behind, but I do know what I'm tracking there. And so um, what to track on those days. And so I'll go back and fill those in um, in a little while. I don't have my highlighters near me right now, but I did fill this out all month for January and it worked well. When I do the next quarter, however, there are some additional categories that I'm going to add to color code um, that I did not think about adding for this quarter. And so we'll do that then. Now, this is my monthly overview, which serves as what you would typically have with that calendar on two pages, um, monthly view. Um, and I feel like it was a waste of time the way I did it. Um, and space to be honest. I really didn't put anything on it. I don't usually like I really have to have something specific to use this page for um, Most of the time I don't have enough appointments to track in that way um, But I still for some reason finally need to put it every month And so I did put that this way this month. I don't know how how often I'll use this type of setup for it 
Um, you'll see how I did it for February in a bit. Um, my goals, again, as the month progressed, I found that these goals, like trying to get something from every category accomplished for me was just not it. So I had to like, you know, narrow it down a little bit, scale it back. <laughs> um, this daily was, again, based off of the goals that I had set for the month of January. And I kind of just, after week two, as you can see, I just was like, you know what, bump this. I didn't even refer to this anymore. Um, I did somewhat try to complete this, but I, I just don't feel like I really had a good gauge of what I should qualify to fill in a circle and what I didn't qualify to fill in a circle. Um, so this was kind of like a scratched as well because it it just wasn't functioning correctly for me. Um, so these two pages are things that definitely did not work. The idea behind tracking daily and weekly did, but the categories that I was tracking and what I was gauging whether or not I would get the check mark for that specific week or day is what did not work. So we definitely changed this up for February. You will see that again ahead. Scripture writing. This was something that was helpful for me for the month of January because I was able to, in my daily pages, to get a scripture to actually place. I did not make it through this list. I did not go day by day. And if I skipped a day, go to the next one. I just went, I picked up where I left off if I skipped a day in planning. Um, but I'm doing a different, it's, I love this concept. I love the fact that it's available in here to do, but I am doing my scripture writing differently for the month of February. And so this is not something that I have in my February planner setup. I love my notes itself. I love having this here as something that I could go and refer back to every month uh, before to see kind of where I was mentally, the things that I had um, as far as the thought process from a recap of the month before versus my outlook for the month ahead. And so my notes itself, I love that page. I think I will continue to do that every month and I do have it in February's. Um, one of my favorite pages in planning currently is my tax sheet. And this is the Alistair method tweaked to my preferences, what I like to see in it. Um, and as the months go on, as the month goes on, you'll see that it changes over time. But I'm consistent with making sure I get this Alistair method down every week because it kind of gives me an overall view of the tasks that I want to complete. It's like a brain dump with a, uh, it's a, it's like a brain dump, but it's also um, allowing you to schedule it at the same time to actually get it accomplished and then allowing you to see what and how much of what you accomplished throughout the week all in one place. And that just is amazing to me. I love it. If I had to deal with I'll having a daily schedule and I could just have this, I could function. So this is something that I definitely like using. And then we go into my dailies. And I just did like my task list and my scripture, as you can see. And that was every day um, that I did actually complete a daily planning for the month. Um, and as this, and this as this goes on, you'll see that I did skip over days. I didn't do every single day um, daily planning. Some days I, I skipped over um, and I didn't go back and try to back plan or anything like that because it's just not my my deal. Some days I planned and didn't write a scripture. Um, you'll see that as well. Um, some weeks are less aesthetic, less um, decorative than others. And so you'll see that too. Like this one, um, it's not very, um, it's not very decorative, not very decorative, but then the, the week was, but I also started this week on Wednesday and then I only did Wednesday and Saturday because I just, you know, I'm not about skip, uh, back planning and trying to do it so that it looks good that I didn't skip any days or anything. I'm trying to make it realistic so I can kind of know mentally where I was. Um, I love here and there putting the little quote pages in here. Um, and so it's not consistent that I did it every week, but I did do it here and there. This was something significant because this was the week of Martin Luther King Day. So I put this Martin Luther King uh, quote right here. Um, and I actually had it in a few different places throughout um, my planning period. Not in here, but just through planning. Um, and like I was saying, as you see time progress on. I changed just a little bit my Alistair um, task sheet. I started doing this right here, the lines, so that it'd be easier for me to see what the days were. Um, I think that was very helpful. Um, also spruced up the page just a little bit. And initially I was putting a line all the way through 
But now what I'm doing instead, as time goes on, I figured that it, that was not working for me because um, if I changed something to a later date and it had a line through that portion of the week, I wouldn't know. I, mean, I wouldn't be able to go back and fill out whatever it was like I needed to. Um, that's the difference between previous weeks and future weeks with this part. But I still love it. I love the different symbols that I'm using for my, um, whether I'm completing it, migrating it, canceling it, whether it is in progress, whatever the case may be, or schedule. And so, um, again, this is not even the last change that I made to this type of a, a, a sheet in here, as you'll see. <laughs> uh, but then we go back on to the weeks. And again, I didn't always do everything and everything was not always pretty, as you can see. This one, I added a little note section for whatever reason. <laughs> um, then we revisit. This is where in the month I decided to revisit my goals. And so you'll see that um, I don't have as many categories. Um, went from like eight categories to five categories that I had focused, that I would like to focus on for goals. And that's just generally speaking, period regardless of what specific goals I had. And I feel like this is just much more fitting for where I am mentally right now. And so here we go. I took away some categories in their entirety. Not to say that I won't still try to make progress in those categories, like with, for instance, my business or with social media and um, uh, content creating specifically for that. Um, but I'm not going to make it an actual goal. I'm just going to kind of let that flow and happen as it, as it will. And then I just had a sheet where I kind of broke down how I wanted to, to complete some of those goals. And then we go to the next week. And again, my Alistair method task list, which on this one, I didn't go back and do the lines through like I had on previous weeks for whatever reason, probably just forgot. Um, and this is where my planning through the weeks got really bland. Um, and then so on Tuesday of the last week of January, I started feeling like I needed to incorporate because, well, I started feeling like I needed to incorporate times on my to-dos. The things that I was trying to complete during that specific day, I needed to know what time during the day that I was going to complete them on. Why did I do that? Because I decided to start... Um, doing a timed morning routine and a timed evening routine because I'll be out of control. I'll be out of control. Like I, I really need needed more structure that helped me along with structure, adding that morning routine and that evening routine uh, and time frames for it. But what am I doing for the rest of the day as far as my productivity was concerned? That helped me start the day and it helped me end the day, but it didn't help me with actually being productive during the day. And so I started thinking, okay, well, I need to start incorporating what time frames I'm going to be doing such and such or whatever. So this, this was the start of that idea and thought process. Um, and then again, here I put like what I was going to do later, a tomorrow section or whatever, um, below the scripture that I wrote down. And the week goes on. And you see today, this day I didn't put the times, but this day I did. So that may or may not be something consistent that I need to do. Um, I don't know. I was in my feelings this day. Not so much in my feelings, but I really feel, felt like decorating. So I made a little spread uh, for the weekend this weekend. It didn't actually turn out to be what I wanted it to as far as not the spread, but the plans. And that's why nothing else got written. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. All right, here we go. Here is February, February's, um, flip through. And I decided to use a lot of the card stock that's in the capital sheet design, um, paper pad that's in Michael's because it's really Black History Month, like the prints in it are really favorable of Black History Month. They're like the prints that you would find in the um, dashikis and in the, um, um, I don't know what the little, the dresses are called that are made with the different African, African prints, but it's made with a lot of those type of prints. Uh, so that's what I decided to go with. And I tried to pick the, the girls, the dolls that kind of match those a bit. And so, so I didn't do again that listing kind of a monthly overview this time. I decided to take the time and actually create the planner, um, the uh, monthly 
view on two pages. But again, as you see, I have nothing written out here. Now, granted, I have appointments. I have some appointments this month that I just did not write down yet. I have two on the 8th and I have one on the 19th. Um, for me or one of my family members, I've not written any of that down. Um, I will go back and do that, however. And in my mind, I was going to write a couple of quotes, at least one right here, if not right here too. I haven't gotten that done either. And probably my my in my mind, I want to go back and do it. And I think I will at some point when I feel froggy. It's not today though. Uh, then I have my goals page. And this is, again, me trying to simplify the things that I want to focus on, uh, trying to scale back trying to focus on so much at one time and so I created my goal page and I made it pretty simple for me to make sure that I was able to get through and actually find some kind of accomplishment behind the goals that I was setting because I always always feel like I have set these goals and I never actually get to a completed state on them I'll make some progress and then I'll just let it all go to the wayside and this is something to help me better um actually see the progress that I'm making and then you know I'll be able to add on to that and do more in short periods of time shorter periods of time as time goes on but right now I just need to make it small and simple and that's what this is so remember the daily sheet from last month let me flip back to it really quickly so you can see if I can find it here it goes and the weekly sheet right remember this this is what I decided to do for this month and it's still goal related. It's nothing changed. It's just, it's nothing changed behind the thought process of me uh, creating the goals. It's, however, now in my mind, I know it's still based off of my goals, right? My tracker, whether I'm doing this daily and whether I'm doing this every week, it's still based off of my goals that I have set for the month of February. However, now the thought process behind it is a little bit more intentional where uh, you know, I know specifically what would qualify as this, 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 or this. What would qualify as this, this, and this, and this. You know, I have a morning routine that I'm actually, I have established and I have written down and I know if, I know what completing that is or what completed that is not. I actually have scheduled what days I'm going to complete what on. And if it changes and I have an alternative routine for it, I know what day that's on and if I completed that alternative routine because my morning routine isn't the same every single day. It's the same Tuesday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, and Monday are different. Um, so yeah, that this is just so much more um, thought out. So I, I like it. All right, then we go to my notes and self page, which I still have not filled out. However, don't um have a hissy fit. Don't get your panties in a bunch because it's still just the first week of February. I do plan on completing this page. And then we have this um just little decorative quote page um with joy, just as a reminder for myself. Um, and I skipped over this page because what I wanted to put next wasn't gonna fit on this page properly. Um, I don't know why this happened here. It may have been a mistake. But then I did a brain dump, and this is kind of like for the month, kind of a brain dump. All right, so what you will see is that for the month of February, I completely changed up what I was doing uh, for my daily sheets. I decided that I was going to start doing timed daily sheets, and I absolutely love how it's looking like this was a trial run right here and it was okay but then i'm like okay it looks a little bunched up together so this was on tuesday notice i didn't even plan on monday for whatever reason but then on wednesday which was yesterday i was like okay i didn't like how all of this was lined up together in a line straight down it's, it was harder for me to read but when i decided to stagger it over here it made it so much easier to read and in my opinion, so much more aesthetically pleasing. So um, ideally, I have my schedule here from the time I get up to the time I go to bed every day um, based off of how my schedule is set for that day. And then at the bottom, there will be a blank space for me to put notes or whatever the case may be beyond my actual schedules. And I really think that this is something that's going to work for me. Um, this is really, this, this planner is not really about... Um, 
getting personal, my thoughts and recap and reflections and such like that. It's about getting through my day and knowing what I need to do during the day. That is what this is for. That is what in my mind I have realized I need this book for. Um, and at the end of the week for this book, uh, for this uh, week of February, I decided to put my task list here. I didn't put it in the beginning. And I actually think I like it better at the end, to be honest. Um, today is definitely Thursday, and I definitely need to go back and catch up on making sure I have everything marked accordingly, which I, I marked absolutely nothing. But I'll go back and do that. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And in the back, I did make a few different notes. I put different uh, productivity hours and such here. I put my tentative ideal schedule uh, for different hours on different days of the week. Um, I know that you probably would not understand what all of this is, but I do, and that's okay. Um, then I put my um, morning routine here, my night routine here. Again, something that it would take me having to like literally sit here and explain step by step what everything means for you to get it. Um, social media. I wrote a couple of notes in here, but it's nothing really going on. Um, and then in this area, again, same thing. I wrote a couple of notes, but nothing really going on. Um, in the very back, I did put some notes based off of a book that I was reading. Um, that's it. Um, but that's where we are. That is what my month is looking like. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more to come. I'm actually about to film another one right now. But thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Remember to always stay under the blood of Jesus and be blessed. Bye.